Sandra is 15 years old. She lives at the Hogar Le Grana Orphanage for Girls in Santiago, Chile. When Sandra turns 18, she will lose government funding and faces the very real possibility of living on the streets. The dormitory where she currently stays was built by an organization named Vision for Chile. Hi, I'm Tom Orm. I'm the director of Vision for Chile. We provide housing for the hurting and unloved children of Chile. When I visited in 1995, I discovered a home, a girl's home, that was in terrible disrepair. And the dormitories were in such horrible shape. In fact, the home was so unsafe, someone came through the wall the night before and sexually abused one of the four-year-old girls. So God called me to come back and build homes for these girls. Answering God's call, Tom returned to Chile in 1998 and built four dormitories and an educational training center for young orphans and troubled youth. Supported by churches and individuals in North America, Vision for Chile works on building projects, providing a safe environment for these unloved children. There does, however, remain a tremendous need for housing and continued job training once they reach the age of 18. Antes de entrar a este lugar no tenía dónde quedarme, dónde ir, pero cuando llegué a este lugar, Vision for Chile me dio un lugar cómodo, seguro, agradable de dónde estar y todavía me preocupa cuando tenga 18 años y dónde ir, no sé cómo voy a estudiar. Eso. Three years ago, I discovered one of the girls that I developed a relationship with ended up living on the streets because she didn't have enough training to make it on her own. Tom wanted to see these girls have a place to go as they transition into their adult lives. His vision was to help them continue their education and develop careers instead of being forced into the streets where prostitution and drug use are rampant. He shared the situation with a friend, a contractor in New York City. And I was talking to Tommy and maybe some of the other guys that were here and it came up that when the girls reach 18, there's a strong possibility that the government won't find them, finance them any longer and then they'll be put out and they won't have any place to, uh, to go, no place to take care of them. And then I was thinking about some of my own life and some of the things that went on when I was a young man and how people didn't give up on me. And because they didn't give up on me, I, I have a beautiful, wonderful life right now. And then I got a hold of Tom Orm and I shared with him the thoughts that were impressed upon my heart. Simply, Tommy, what are we going to do for these girls? What can we do? We wanted to build a house that when the girls turned 18, that they would have a place to go, not on the streets, to go to college or vocational training. And when they walked out of here, they would have hope for their future. With your involvement, this dream can become a reality. It will be called the House of Hope. It will be a safe place where young women can receive the necessary tools to transition from the orphanage into fruitful careers and lives. When you give your love to someone who has no love, and they love you back unconditionally for the simple fact that you love them, it's a tremendous reward. Your life will be changed forever. You can make a tremendous difference in the lives of these girls. When you pray, when you give, when you actually come down to help us build, you will be serving these girls who will never be able to repay you except with their love. Vision for Chile has made a commitment to serve these young women. We need your help to keep them off the street and provide hope for their future. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the House of Hope. I pray that you will get involved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.